Obviously, you have been a UN diplomat for many years, um, and international peace mediation is something that is actually performed under the auspices of the United Nations so far. But um, the currency of mediation and international peace mediation has, has gained now and has become more professionalized and more structured and systematized and other regional organizations are jumping obviously on, on this bandwagon um, because it is seen as one the more effective way of resolving conflicts. You also know the European Union very well and you have worked with um, the European Union who has been maybe performing less proactively or consciously in peace mediation, but has nevertheless been engaged in peace processes. Can and should the EU build up its mediation capacity in international conflict resolution? Absolutely, because EU has all the capabilities to do that. We, we have the staff resources. <clears throat> I was very impressed, first of all, that how the enlargement process has advanced peace. Mm -hmm. it, it's a peace process. If something is a peace process, then the enlargement, bringing new members to EU is one, and the change process that takes place in those societies before they become mm -hmm. members, like we had to go through in my own country. Secondly, I was impressed how professionally EU could actually and quickly react to my request of having monitors sent to Aceh. So I was very thankful for uh, Commissioner Ferreira Waldner and, and, and High Representative Javier Solana because both were extremely supportive. And, and then the, you needed the member states, so I had to go and talk to member states. And there were many demands, actually, mm -hmm. because EU is asked more and more. Mm -hmm. Because UN can't do everything. It relies very much on regional actors. Then there's a special role as well that we have to assist regional organizations, whether it's ASEAN or, or, or African Union, because we see the trend developing that different regions are trying to solve their own problems. So how does, would the EU then actually no, do we have We have to get the facilities. I, I think we should look carefully what the UN has been doing in, in, in introducing the different new organizational arrangements and make similar arrangements. The capacity has to be there. It can easily be found among the present member states. So that's not the problem. And, and we have to be more forthcoming and, and perhaps do much more in preventive diplomacy that, that we don't then, then need to come into picture when everything has already failed. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, because this is also cost effective, isn't it? Of course it is, because, because the conflict costs much more than, than making peace before the conflicts go that far. Precisely.